You better leave while you can still walk. Davis told me, it wasn't your fault. You were only trying to do right by your platoon. Hey, welcome back lads, so this is the moment we have all been waiting for because we finally have multiplayer gameplay details leaking out about Call of Duty Vanguard and we also have an update about the Warzone stuff too. There is a lot of interesting things going on here, including me dying to allergies and sunburn. Gamers, just, just don't go outside. So a pretty well-known leaker from our community has access to multiplayer gameplay and or images from an early version. You may have heard of the MW to Ghost who tweeted out the map, weapons, and a score streak which they had seen in the leak. Ghost said, saw footage of COD 2021 recently, definitely World War II uniformed soldiers. Saw a Car 98K, the trench gun shotgun, and Molotovs, the map they was <laughs> the map they was playing looked like it was an african palace now sadly for us this footage will probably never be public we'll never be able to see it well actually i say that but last year do you guys remember the cold war multiplayer gameplay leak where there was like a very very early version of the multiplayer map garrison and some guy was just walking around uh the map with the Crick six assault rifle it basically showed us Nothing too special. And 90% of the time, leaked images or gameplay are always filmed on like a, a calculator. Why? Like, hello? From everything that Ghost described to us, there is one thing that really stood out to me, the African Palace map, because until a few days ago, we had no idea which part of World War II this game would explore, because there is a lot of different choices, but now that the massive leak last week told us the game will focus on the European and Pacific theatres while focusing on the story of special forces, which I think sounds really cool, I like the idea of that, and my voice is actually dead right now, but yeah, North Africa was a theatre of war in World War II, but it's not in the Pacific or Europe, but it does make sense for the game to explore that because that is where the infamous British SAS first ever operated in North Africa. So I'm pretty damn sure we can say that the game is going to explore North Africa and the SAS, which does make a lot of sense if all the COD games and different series are now part of the same story. The SAS has always played a big part in the modern warfare games, so like exploring the origin story of the SAS is a pretty cool idea. Ghost also said there might be an iteration of the headquarters in COD 2021, or COD Vanguard, and of course headquarters was that like, basically social space is what they called it, or like living area, it took menus and turned it into a playable space in COD World War 2 and I liked it, it's pretty epic. I'm not really sure what is leading Ghost to say that the headquarters might be there or might not be, maybe there is evidence that it's there, but with game development, plans are made and plans are changed, so that's why you can't really guarantee it even if something is leaked. Also, a desert palace map with a car 98 k can be recreated on Modern Warfare on the map Ania Palace, right? I mean, it's the game's not in World War II and Ania Palace is in the Middle East, but still, Vanguard could have vibes kind of similar to this gameplay right here. This could be a nice, like, taste teaser for it if that makes any sense. So, Ghost has described to us our first taste of Vanguard's multiplayer and kind of listed off some of the content, but the Chinese leaker known as Victor Z over on Twitter goes into depth about gameplay changes and evolutions. First off, it's unclear if he's talking about multiplayer or Warzone in this one, but doors will be destroyable destructible, is that a word? But yeah, you can blow doors out of doorways. Now, if multiplayer maps do have doors, that is a bruh moment, but let's just hope the maps aren't totally infested like in Modern Warfare. But anyways, if they are destroyable, then that's like an improvement at, at the very least. He also says that small buildings will be able to be destroyed, so I'm thinking that's definitely about Warzone. And also he says destruction will be kind of like Rainbow Six, which I haven't played, so I'm not really familiar but it's not going to be like battlefield levels i think it's kind of like you can shoot holes through doors and like panels off of walls and that last but definitely not least we have heard that the new warzone pacific map will be bigger than verdansk and because of that we'll have an emphasis on vehicle play and according to victor that will include planes you might remember that cod world war 2 actually experimented with a plane only multiplayer mode which was i mean the controls were kind of stiff. Also, because fighter planes don't just take off like a helicopter, you know, they need a runway, that kind of tells me that the new map will have an airfield and perhaps even an aircraft carrier as locations. Kinda neat. Anyways, that's about it, so stay spicy and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.